Hey, Island High School infested with a colony of bats. At one point, around 40 bats on the inside and another 100 bats on the outside of the school. Parents said it was shocking to hear after their students' first day back, the school could close. Tonight, we are finding out how they got in and what's the process to get them out. It's our top story tonight on 2 News at 5. Welcome, I'm Mark Cabell. And I'm Jamie McGriffin. While the school is still open, teams are working to remove the bats, and not just with staff and student safety in mind, but also the animals. And Ariel Harrison is live at Highland High School following the story after speaking with school officials and parents. And this sounds like a batty few <laughs> first days of school, Ariel. That's right. While some might find these furry and winged creatures disturbing, bats are a protected species here in Utah and crucial to our local ecosystem. So as you can imagine, striking a balance to safely remove a colony, well, it's quite the process and it doesn't happen overnight. You don't hear every day on their first day of school. You might not have school the next day. It's been a memorable first week of school for Callie Amon and her family. Quite the news to welcome <laughs> students back, right? Yes, it was. It was such a shock. As a mom to a freshman and junior at Highland High, she admits the news was concerning. I get a phone call and and I believe it was the text, and they said that there were bats in the school. School district officials say while around a few dozen bats were found inside a room on the third floor, they found dozens more outside. I heard about 40 of the bats in the nest, the juvenile bats inside the classroom, and then 100, 150 or so outside. Because of the numbers, Chatwin said the situation required help from the Division of Wildlife Resources and County Health Department. As far as these bats being in a building where staff and children are, how big of a health safety concern is that. You definitely want to take it seriously and you want to be safe about it. Sean Plattis is a DWR biologist. He says the only major worry is when there is direct contact. But even the bats we test rarely come back positive with anything. Um, so yeah, having bats in the area, not a big issue. The big thing, we just want to make sure that people aren't trying to pick up or catch or, or mess with the bats. As school lets out for the weekend, teams will work to make sure the bats are out and do so safely. Island High School is a great place to be, but hopefully not for bats moving forward. <laughs> Now, something important I want to mention, the school district did say that no students uh, had direct contact with bats. However, there were two staff members who had contact. They are being checked out medically. That impacted classroom is temporarily closed for the time being. I also want to mention that Chatwin with the district said the building as a whole, this is um, an older school building here in Salt Lake, is currently being considered for structural improvements, which could help keep animals like bats out in the future. Reporting live in Sugar House, Ariel Harrison, KUTV 2 News.